Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, I just kind of felt like sitting down in this video. I just want to talk to you guys. Stuff I've been thinking about recently. But first, I did do my hair by myself. This was me. My mom only helped me like a little bit. It doesn't look, I'm mean, like, no, it looks good. I'm not even gonna like discredit myself and say it looks bad. Like, it looks good. I did a really good job. I'm really proud of myself. It's something that I've wanted to do for so long. Now that I'm done tooting my own horn, um, I wanted to talk about basically a phrase that um, has been repeated throughout my entire life, mostly by my dad, and that is, there is time for everything. He would usually say this phrase when, when I was like basically doing something that I shouldn't have been doing. Like for example, if it's a Saturday and you know, you do your chores on Saturdays, the first thing I did on a Saturday morning was go and watch TV. My dad would be like, there's time for everything. And that would basically mean like, go do your chores and then you can watch TV later. He hasn't stopped saying that because apparently I still do a lot of things wrong. I've kind of adopted that phrase for myself as meaning like don't ever feel pressured to like do too much at once for my generation and like growing up on social media, it, like comparing yourself to others around you is just inevitable because you know, you think you're doing great and then you go on Twitter and someone's like, oh my God, like I'm 18 and I just bought a house with my boyfriend. And, <laughs> and I mean, they're probably lying. Sometimes they're not and sometimes people do things earlier, sometimes people do things later. Time is relative, so I feel like that's always hard when you're trying to compare your situation to other people's. And I feel like social media in general is just so, like I love it and I hate it sometimes. Although I put myself out on social media, there are still a lot of things that I disagree with and sometimes I just like wish it wasn't a thing. But for the most part, let me get back on track. This video is gonna be all over the place because I'm just thinking like a lot of things right now. I'm not the greatest at explaining myself, so I'm so I'm sorry in advance. I feel like it's so normal to like be on social media and see comments like, oh, she's only 15 and like she's more successful than I'll ever be. And I feel like that's so negative to be like putting out there and like speaking those words into existence because it's like, yeah, like she's young and she did all that great for her, but that's not to say that you're not gonna do something great in the next few months or in the next year or whatever. We just feel so pressured to be doing more at a younger age because you know Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook in his college dorm and all these WhatsApp miracles get sent around. It's just all these like success stories constantly being pushed in your face about miraculous kids accomplishing things at young ages and like that's cool and all. Like at the end of the day you're gonna think of your like you're gonna look at yourself and be like I'm not doing enough, I'm not enough, like when's my time gonna come? But when you see those things you just have to tell yourself like there's time for everything and just because they have that happen to them doesn't mean something great isn't gonna happen for me. Or like That doesn't mean I can't make something of myself because like not everything's gonna come to you, obviously. But it's like, you just feel like, oh, like I need to be working harder, I need to be, and like maybe you do, maybe you do need to be working harder, maybe you do need to be working smarter. But that's not to say that's like what you're doing isn't enough right now. Like you're, you could be on the right track and it's just like, you're just like not looking at the bigger picture and you just, get sidetracked by all these other people and you just really need to stay focused on yourself. I also felt like talking about this because in psychology today we were talking about like problem solving and uncertainty, just how like the fear of the future obviously scares the majority of the population. And I can speak personally, I, I know that used to bother me a lot. Um, and it's something that like I'm still working on every day because obviously like it, it'd be nice to know like exactly what I'd be doing a couple of years from now like what position I'd be in if I you know like what school I'm going to what job I have and yada yada I've gotten a lot better at like I don't want to say not caring developing like a nonchalant go with the flow attitude which my mother hates she thinks it's just a sign of laziness but for me it's like I've actually been taking the time to like work on these things and not stress myself out with the future because like I always try to just live by the phrase content but not complacent. Be thankful and show gratitude for what's in your life right now and for the position you're in right now. But that doesn't mean that you should just get so comfortable and just like stay exactly where you are. Like you should always be trying to better yourself and always trying to do more, but like don't think that you're falling behind anyone just because you see this or because you heard this. I feel like the unknown can kind of be fun sometimes. Like. It used to scare the living crap out of me, not knowing what I'd be doing next year, not knowing where I'd be going or what I'd be like, what, what I would be like as a person scared me. But I feel like it's kind of fun now. I used to be so insecure when people would ask me like, oh, so like, what do you want to do? Like that. <laughs> and I'd most likely just like crack under pressure and lie and say I wanted to be like an engineer or something. But like when people ask me now, like, oh, what do you want to do? I'm like, oh, like I want to study film. And, they're like, oh, like what, you know, like what kind? And I'm like, I don't know. 
people are so afraid to just like not know what they want to do but it's like you really need to take time to figure yourself out like I know I have an idea of what I want to do I don't know specifically the job I'm gonna be entering in five years or whatever but it's like I have an idea and like that's good enough for me and that's not good enough for everyone but I think based on how I used to be and what I want to be like I've become a lot more comfortable saying I don't know and that doesn't mean that I'm just like sitting back like I don't know what I'm doing with my life it's just like whatever I'm okay with not having everything figured out and just like working towards something because I am working towards something like you know I'm working on finishing my community college year here and I've done my transfer applications to transfer next year I feel like I don't know needs to become more accepted I feel like when someone says I don't know at least in a like in a confident manner like if someone's reaching out for help like I don't know what I'm doing with my life then obviously like they need help but if you can comfortably and confidently say like I have an idea of what I want to do but I don't know everything about that and I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing in the future because no one does that's okay and there's a time for everything and your time's gonna come as long as you're pushing to get there and I don't <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense at all so in case you need to hear it there is a time for everything and always be content but not complacent and be working towards something but it's okay if you don't have everything figured out thank you so much for watching I hope you took something away from this video comment down below how you feel about what I said if you understand any of it because I hope you do I hope like I did my best to try to make sense but when I don't plan things out and I talk about things like this I just get a little off track so just comment down below anything you want I'd also like to take this time to thank you for over 2,000 subscribers like what that <laughs> that shocked me um, I hit a thousand in like November and I'm already at 2,000 which is so crazy I really when I started this channel when I was 14, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, now I still don't know, but I have like more of an idea. But I do know that I'm having fun doing this and that I want to keep doing it. So if you are subscribed, comment down below why you did because I would love to know. Um, don't forget to take care of yourself and I will see you in my next video.